Geothermal has been historically accepted by the public and governments as a clean and green energy source. And as a result, it is uncommon for stakeholders to lobby against geothermal developments in their communities. Generally, geothermal development has taken place at local and regional scales pursued by local entities who are known and trusted by the communities in which they operate. This trust and respect for geothermal by stakeholders is referred to as social license. So what would happen if geothermal development quickly scales and the entities developing the resources are no longer small and locally known, but are instead multinational oil and gas companies? What can we learn from public opposition to fracking about how to assure geothermal retains its social license to operate? What can oil and gas companies do to create trust in communities where they intend to pursue geothermal development? Let's explore.